So today I am actually going to be doing a discussion video and for March I was kind of thinking about what discussion video I wanted to talk about and I figured I would talk about fairy tales since one this is you know for me this is my fairy tale theme month where I read a ton of uh, fairy tale books and two Beauty and the Beast is coming out soon so fairy tale and then just because there's been a trend over uh, the past few years of more fairy tale books and you know redoing some of the classic Disney fairy tales are <clears throat> they're redoing them in live form and releasing them in theaters. So there's been a trend of just more fairy tale retellings and fairy tale books and movies and shows um, that are out. So I figured perfect time to talk about fairy tales and have a discussion and I think the thing I kind of want to talk about is like why why fairy tales have become this trend like why has why have we all of a sudden in the past few years it's become such a big thing and we see it a lot more we see a lot more books that are fairy tale retellings we see more movies being made that are based on fairy tales um shows so kind of wanting to talk about you know why um what draws us to fairy tales and why the trend now i think one of the reasons for this and the rise in fairy tales is that feeling of nostalgia for a lot of us it reminds us of our childhood and you know for some people they may have been tucked to bed and your parents may have read you uh, a story a fairy tale growing up and so there's that nostalgic feeling especially with a lot of you know, children's fairy tales now being remade, redone, um, and being put out there again, you know, so a lot of it is that nostalgia from our old, uh, from back when we were in childhood and remembering the stories we grew up with, you know, Alice in Wonderland, Peter Pan, um, Beauty and the Beast, Sleeping Beauty, and you see it in books. There's so many books now that there's a lot of Beauty and the Beast retelling. There's Peter Pan retelling, Alice in Wonderland. You know, just every fairy tale out there, there's pretty much a, a book retelling for just about everyone out there. There's even a retelling for Aladdin which I showed in one of my hauls last year. Um, if you guys have been on my channel for a while, you saw I hauled a retelling of Aladdin, which has always been my favorite story as a kid. Aladdin was hands down always my favorite, and I've never seen an Aladdin story redone um, or, you know, retold so I was super excited to see them do Aladdin and I got the book I haven't read it yet but I have it and so like I said I feel like it's that feeling of nostalgia like oh my gosh this brings me back to childhood and I read the story all the time and I loved it so I think that's part of the rise in um and part of the trend in fairy tales is just that nostalgic feeling that it brings back for a lot of us. But then I also think that, you know, 
fairy tales have this thing um, that, you know, it just brings us back to the basics, right? The basic good versus evil story. And I feel like that is a trope that, you know, we all tend to gravitate towards um, and just want to read. We all love a really good good versus evil story. Um, and so fairy tales, you know, you have that, you have that basic setup um, with good versus evil, with, you know, with uh, the prince or princess, because now there's so many twists, but with the prince or princess uh, defeating the evil witch or slaying the dragon or whatever it is. And so, you know, it's that classic good versus evil that I think all of us are really drawn to. And I think that's also the reason why um, superhero movies and shows have become so big as well. It's because of that classic good versus evil story. But the other thing I, I like um, that I'm seeing with that, um, with that particular trope, the good versus evil, is in a lot of ways, it's turning it on its head. In a lot of different stories, um, that trope gets turned on its head and you have characters that it's not all good or evil, it's not all black and white. You have a lot of this morally gray area and you have characters that, you know, some characters that are maybe portrayed as evil um, may do something good from time to time. And then you have some characters that you would typically uh, think of as good, you know, kind of toe the line and do some bad stuff from time to time. So you get you get to see more of that morally gray area and more complex characters. And I think it just gives the story, um, it just layers the story with the whole new dimension. And I feel like we almost get to see the fairy tales that we know and love in a different light in that way. So when they are, you know, kind of twisted and turned like that, we get to see the fairy tales that we've always known and loved, but kind of come to see it in sort of a different light. Um, and I just, I think it's so interesting seeing the different, uh, twist and takes on it and also in some ways going back to the original story because when we think about fairy tales a lot of fairy tales were actually pretty dark so obviously you know they've changed them a lot over the years to make them kind of more fluffy and happy like the little mermaid and peter pan but the original stories, a lot of them were pretty dark. And so for some of the retellings, they go back to that original dark story that it was. And so it's interesting kind of seeing um, just the different twists and takes that um, authors and creators take when it comes to fairy tales and doing it differently, whether it's um, a book or a show or a movie, but just seeing how um, they kind of change it up. And in some ways, it's still a lot like the fairy tales we knew and grew up with, but then in other ways, it's so different. And so I think that's really interesting. So I think those are some of the reasons why there's such a trend in fairy tale retellings now and why we're so drawn to them. Again, like I said, it's partly that, you know, it's the nostalgia, it's the story that we know, we love, we grew up with, 
but then it's also, it gets twisted on its head um, a lot of times in a lot of ways. But there's still that good versus evil storyline that we're really just drawn to. Um, and I think a lot of that has to has to do with why fairy tales have become, you know, fairy tale retellings have become so popular now. So since this video is about fairy tales, I wanted to end by recommending a couple fairy tale uh, retelling books, movies, and TV show. So I'll start off with the books. Couple fairy tale themed books that I'm gonna recommend. First off, this one is a popular one, which so I'm sure a lot of people have read already. But if you haven't, I'm recommending the Luna Chronicles. Um, the first book is Cinder, and then there's Scarlet Crest and Winter, and then of course the um two novellas fairest and stars above so cinder obviously is a retelling of cinderella which i read last year and i absolutely loved it i'll leave a link to my review i did a review for it so i'll leave a link to my review down in the description below and then scarlet is a little red riding hood retelling crest is a rapunzel retelling and Winter, of course, is Snow White retelling. So I actually have not read um, the rest of this series yet. I have not read Scarlet, uh, Crest, and Winter yet. But it is on my TBR for March. But I have a feeling that I am just going to love the entire series, which is why I'm going ahead and recommending the entire series, because I loved Cinder, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to love the rest of the series. So, Luna Chronicles. Another fairy tale theme book I will recommend is the School for Good and Evil series. Now, this is not a retelling of any fairy tales, but it is a fairy tale theme series as the School for Good and Evil. Basically, you have two schools. The School for Good um, teaches students how to be prince and princesses of their own fairy tale story, and obviously the School for Evil. Um, students learn how to become villains and how to destroy the happy endings of the prince and princesses. So it's very fairy tale themed. I've read the first two books and I love them. And I do have the third book on my TBR for this month in March. So hopefully I can get to it. If not, I want to try and get to it in April and this is another great fairy tale themed one and what I like about this series is this is another one like I said earlier when I talked about characters not being all black and white but having that morally gray area and you know sometimes bad characters can do something good and sometimes good characters to do something bad from time to time and you really do see that a lot with this series. Um, you see that morally gray area and the complexity of, of the characters. And so that's what I really, that's one thing that I really like about this series. And it is a middle grade series as well. And that their fairy tale uh, retelling uh, series that I'm going to recommend is A Wicked Thing and A Kingdom of Ashes by Rihanna Thomas. And this is a Sleeping Beauty retelling. Um, I actually have a review of both of these books. I will leave that link down in the description below. I loved them. 
And yeah, definitely uh, another awesome fairy tale retelling book if you're looking for fairy tale books to get into. Now for movies, obviously, there's been a ton, a ton of um, fairy tale retellings of um, Cinderella as far as the movie goes. I feel like there's so many different Cinderella story um, movies, so there's just a lot. But um, I will say the two kind of, uh, if we're talking Cinderella, the two Cinderella movies that I really liked were A Cinderella Story um, with Hilary Duff and Chad Michael Murray. And also another Cinderella story um, with Selena Gomez. And so those are kind of, and I've seen a ton of different Cinderella uh, movies, but those are kind of the two that I really like the most. I haven't seen the Disney live action Cinderella that they made, I think, a couple years ago. I haven't seen that one, so I can't say to put it on the list because I haven't seen it, but yeah. And then also um, another uh, fairy tale retelling movie I really like is Sydney White, which is a retelling of Snow White, um, and Sydney is played by um, Amanda Barnes. She um, goes off to college and ends up uh, rooming at this, staying with these kind of nerdy, dorky guys um, in this frat house. And they're kind of like the dwarves. And um, so yeah, I just, I really liked uh, Sydney White. So that is another one that I would recommend. And then as far as TV shows go, obviously this list of recommendations could not be complete without Once Upon a Time. Um, I love Once Upon a Time. I love that it takes all of the classic fairy tales and stories that you know and love and just twists them and does something new and different with them. And I love all of the characters on this show. This is another one where, you know, when I talked about morally gray um, characters, this is definitely a show for that because the villains are not always villains. And I just, there's always good and bad in each of the characters. And so I just love this show. Um, I will say that the last season that aired, um, I know it just came back, but I mean, the season that aired previously last year, I will say that wasn't the best season they've had. Felt like that one kind of lacked, um, you know, the usual awesomeness that the show is. But from the first season of the show, it was just so good. And I loved it so much. So I definitely had to include... Once Upon a Time on this list. As far as shows go, I think Once Upon a Time is really the only fairy tale retelling show that I know of. Um, yeah, I think that's the one. I don't know if Grimm would be considered a fairy tale retelling show. Because, I mean, I think... I'd, because I don't know that much about the Grimm Brothers fairy tales. 
to know if all of the stories from that show are actually somehow related to the Grimm Brothers fairy tale. I believe some of them might be, but I don't I don't know if all of them are, you know, somehow tied in with Grimm Brothers fairy tale. So I couldn't say for sure, but if it is, that's another show. That's awesome. I love Grimm. And it's the final season. It's another show that's ending soon. It's only a couple episodes left, which I'm sad about. But I love Grimm. So if it does count, then that's another one that I would recommend. Yeah, I think those are pretty much the only fairy tale shows that I know of. Um, if you guys know any more, let me know in the comments below because I would be interested in checking them out. So, that's pretty much it that I have for this video, you guys. Let me know in the comments below what are some of your thoughts. Why are fairy tales so popular now? What are your thoughts? And also, what fairy tale books, movies, or TV shows would you recommend? Are there any that I've left off the list that you really enjoy? Let me know in the comments below and I will see you guys soon with another video. Bye.